Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about data frames. But before that, let's discuss a few commands related to the operating system. So there's a package known as import OS. And then I'm going to use OS dot get current working directory. It's going to give me the current work working directory. And you can see the current working directory is C Python, CPY Python DIY. Next, I'm going to list down the files which are stored in this location, which is the current working directory. So it gives you the list of all the PYI files, PY files, which are stored in this working directory. So these are some commands which, which are useful and that's why I thought it's a good idea to share them with you right now. So data frames, what are data frames? They are, think of an Excel or a CSV in a tabular format. You have rows and columns. Data frames are very consistent in R as well. It's the same data frame as you would, you would find in R. Data frames can also be analogous to a database table which has data in forms form of rows and columns so let's create one data frame for that we have to use import panda s as pd again and then i'm going to read a csv file which is prodinv.csv please note that this file can be downloaded from the google drive link which is mentioned in the video description below. So here, this is the prodinv.csv. I'm gonna read this data in the variable known as read csv. The command is pd dot read underscore csv. Please note that this is any variable. You can give any name to this, but this is what the function is in pandas read underscore csv so i'm going to run this and obviously did nothing so print read csv it's going to print the values from the csv file please note that the row is starting from 0 to 7 so there are 8 number of rows now let's convert this into a data frame so the command is my df is the new variable of data frame pd dot data frame read csv so whatever it read in the read csv it's gonna change that in csv like in data frame so let's run this so please note that this is the data frame now uh, we haven't printed it so let's print it and this is the data frame so this is being repeated two times one for read CSV other for data frame so this is how you would create a data frame now let's look at frequently used commands on data frame the first one is the head that means print first 10 records obviously there are less than 10 records so it's going to print all it's going to print the head head 10 records if you want to do the other way around which is going to be tail so it's going to print tail 10 so obviously there is less than 10 so it doesn't make sense now let's comment it out let's find out the shape shape means it tells you the number of rows and columns in the data frame there you go so eight number of rows columns six now let's comment it out info info is going to give you the structure of the data frame that means it tells you that how many rows and columns it is let's comment it out and then index 
index is going to give you the range index starts at 0 stops at 8 step by 1 so this is the index here starts at 0 stops at 8 and step by 1 now it's going to give you the columns so it gives you the index of columns which is produce inventory produce type refill price profit and these are type of objects so again head tail shape info index and columns now let's look at length length gives you sorry about this it does not give you last time records but it gives you the total length eight number of records So describe is going to describe a data frame. So describe is other way of looking at the data again. Now this is going to give you the length of a data frame. Wonderful. So please note that this file is available for your reference on the Google Drive link mentioned in the video section below. I'm un uncommenting the the comment sign so that you can download and just run it please note you have to create a folder py under your c drive and save this csv file in order for this script to run properly thank you for watching